Okay, so the first thing we have to do is figure out the restrictions. You go piece by piece. So my first fraction, what would cause that denominator to go to zero? Three. Three. So x cannot be three. Um, what about your second fraction? Nothing. Because it doesn't have a variable down there. And then your third number doesn't have a fraction, so it really does have a one in the denominator. But it won't ever go to zero either. Okay, so now we've got to go LCD. Go piece by piece, and you put each piece in the denominators, or in the LCD box. So my first piece is x minus 3. My second piece is a 3. Do not let it confuse you or bother you that you already have an x minus 3 in the box. Because that's grouped with parentheses, and it is an entirely different thing than just a 3. So I'm going to put a 3 in the front, just because it looks better. If you put it back, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And then my third denominator has a 1. That is the only thing that you never have to put in the LCD box. You don't have to put the 1. Okay, so my LCD is now 3x minus 3. You're going to multiply every single term by the LCD. How many terms does this problem have? 3. three. So I'm going to use my LCD three times. So I'm going to write this step out. When you get used to doing them, you don't have to write it out anymore. But just for the sake of everybody seeing what's going on, there's my LCD, and there's my first term. So I'm multiplying my LCD by my first term. Then I'm going to multiply my LCD by my second term. And multiply my LCD by my last term. Everybody okay? Okay, so in the first, yes? So is it not okay if you distribute it? Sure. I'm going to in a minute, but but the reason I don't distribute it first is because things will cancel first. Some some things will cancel. So if you go ahead and distribute, then you have to undistribute to cancel. So I'm going to cancel my first term. I can cancel my x minus threes, and that leaves me just a three x. In my middle term, my threes cancel, and one times that binomial is just the binomial itself. So I'm left with just x minus three. And then on the answer side of it, it's 1 times 3, which is 3. And you can go ahead and distribute over there if you want to. Now, at this point, it is just an equation to solve. So we just follow the steps for solving equations, combine like terms. So 4x minus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides, 3x from both sides. So I got x equals negative 6. Now just check and make sure that your answer is not your restriction. My restriction was negative 3, my answer was negative 6, so all is well. Wait, would the restriction be 3? It would be 3, you're right. Positive 3. Thank you. Okay, so set everybody kind of okay?
Okay, so what's my restriction? Negative two. X cannot be negative two. LCD, we go piece by piece. This one's easy. My first fraction has an x plus two. My second fraction is a fraction, but I'm gonna make it one, x over one. But you do not have to put a one in the LCD box. My third fraction also has an x plus two, and that's already in the box. So x plus two is my LCD. You're gonna multiply every term in this problem by x plus two. We have three terms, so you're gonna use it three times. So there's my LCD times my first term. LCD times my second term. Okay, so on the very first term, x plus 2 cancels. And that gives me x. In the second term, nothing cancels. So I'm going to just distribute this x. And I get x squared plus 2x equals the last term, my x plus 2 is canceled, and I get 5x plus 8. All right, so now I'm going to combine like terms. So over here on the left-hand side, I have an x and a 2x. So I have x squared plus 3x equals 5x plus 8. Okay, I have an x squared and an x term in the same problem. E yeah. You're okay. going to move everything to one side and factor. So I'm going to move my 5x and my 8 over. Okay, so I have now x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. So you're looking for factors of negative 8 that you would combine to get negative 2. Positive 2 and negative 4 which means I get two solutions, x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. But your restriction is negative 2, so this one cancels out and isn't an answer, but this one is. Oh, is that kind of like this? It's an extraneous root. Yeah. Because it won't work. <coughs> one negative, let's use yeah. one negative 2. Is everybody okay? Questions on that one? We good? All right, so now in number 5, um, I want you to do it, but before you start, the only problem is we've got to factor that very first term. The denominator needs to be factored. Otherwise, you can't tell what your restrictions for that one or what your pieces are for the LCD. So factor it first and then figure out your restrictions in your LCD. I'll give you a little bit. Okay. So it ends up with 5x plus 